Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supply. I'm here in front of our display pools at our store, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how we vacuum an above ground pool. Okay, before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know I've got the pump turned off just for noise, so that way you can hear me a little bit better, and we'll turn it on in a minute. Normally this would be running. When we get ready to vacuum a pool, we have basically our vacuum head. A lot of vacuum heads uh, have swivel tops, some are stationary. Basically, they're all gonna be about the same. What we want to do is hook our pole up. Once we've got that hooked up, keeping in mind that this is swivel, we're going to go right to the vacuum hose itself. The vacuum hose has two ends. One end is swivel and it rotates. That's going to be the end that's going to be attached to our vacuum. So just remember swivel to swivel. The other end of the vacuum hose is stationary. It does not rotate, it does not turn. It's stationary. That is the end we're going to hook our vacuum plate too. Why are we using a vacuum plate and what is a vacuum plate? The vacuum plate is designed so that once we hook into our skimmer, the whole idea is that the vacuum plate will fit over the top of the basket. So as we vacuum the pool, the dirt goes inside the basket, the clean water then goes through back to the pool, collecting all the trash. Some people will vacuum a pool and they will actually take the basket out and they don't use a vacuum plate and they stick the hose directly in. I don't recommend it because then you just clog up your pump. Having the proper equipment is always best. So let's get started. We're gonna get our vacuum hose. We're gonna attach the swivel end to the vacuum and we wanna put the vacuum into the pool. At the same time, we'll just throw the hose into the pool. Now, we need to feed this hose hand over hand so we can fill it with water. If I just hook up into the skimmer, we're gonna suck a lot of air. So we want to prime this hose, and how do we do that? We're going to feed this hose hand over hand. You're just going to feed it hand over hand, like so. And once we get to the very end, we'll see water come out. As you see there, that lets us know that when we hook it up, we're not going to lose prime. It's, it's no, no longer full of air. So I'm going to attach my vacuum plate. Now keep in mind, the system is normally running, so I'm going to turn it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the weir door on the skimmer. We're going to push it out. And then the vacuum is going to go in on top. With it running, the door is going to keep closing. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. And what we want to do is take the door, push it out, stick the vacuum plate in. And now she's hooked up. Now at this point, I'm going to be able to come out here and I'm going to be able to vacuum the pool. That's how we vacuum. Now, when we're done vacuuming, we want to remove this, but this is not going to come out so easy because it's under suction. All we have to do is turn off the pump and this will automatically come right out, allowing us to remove the vacuum and then, of course, dumping the basket and removing any trash that we've picked up. As a rule of thumb, we've got the pool cleaned. What I like to do is make sure we backwash and rinse the system after we've cleaned the pool. That way everything is clean and we're good to go. Hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. And if so, hit the like button and subscribe for future content. And for all your pool needs, visit us at hallmarkpoolsupplies.com. My name is Mark. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.